Being an optician, you have contact lens fitting, automated refraction, and dispensing optician. The career of a licensed optician is actually a, a very interesting one, and you can make whatever you like of it. And my job really involves uh, taking the prescription that is written by the ophthalmologist or optometrist, interpreting that prescription, and then putting it in a way that our patient will understand. Being a licensed optician, we are constantly learning new techniques, new advances in technology, sets us apart in that we're considered a professional now. You can't even call yourself an optician if you're not licensed. It's a very interesting career because it does, again, fit retail with healthcare. The most important is the healthcare part of it. Yes, you need to know how to approach people, sell glasses, look professional, all of the above, but the fitting, the measurements, the medical side of it to make sure that your contact lenses fit properly, your eyewear fits well. Those are all major, major factors in helping a person see better. And that's what a licensed optician does. The majority of the people are going to be over 65 in a sh few short years. The person that's 65 years old now is not the same person that 20 or 30 years ago that was 65. They want all the bells and whistles. Years ago when I wore, first wore glasses, it was a necessity and they were ugly. So now fashion has just totally taken over. You're wanting to show somebody that they can look really great in their glasses. I think back on 33 years ago when I first got into the industry and where I am today, I've thought, well, could I ever do anything else? And the answer is no. I love what I do. I always have and I always will. So I've been doing this for about 20 years and what I enjoy the most is actually developing relationships with people. When I meet somebody, for instance, I am going to want to make a connection with that person and that connection starts from that first hello. When I look at you, for instance, I look at your skin tone, I look at your strong facial features, I, I'm going to introduce or show you a frame that's going to bring that out. The rewards happen every day and the most rewarding experience is always when somebody puts on that pair of glasses and says to me that, oh my God, I can see. Um, for me, eye care has given me everything. Um, it, it's something where I love to go to work every single day. Um, the chance to interact with patients is, is really uh, a highlight for me. It's something that I look forward to at any opportunity that I get because you're helping people with sight. And at the end of the day, sight is your most valuable sense. Uh, that's really it. We've got about a thousand people on, on the whole at this point. Um, there's always a need uh, for, for good people. Staffing is one of the biggest challenges of any eye care business. As I was on the road, everywhere I went, didn't matter if it was an optical store, um, an optometry practice, an ophthalmology business, uh, everywhere I went, you know, people would say to me, because they knew my background, they'd say, do you know an optician? Um, or an optician would say to me, do you know where I can find a job? And I just thought to myself, I have to start a business. I need to provide a resource for people. So in 2011, we launched Jobs for ACPs as a job board specifically for eye care across Canada. So really right now, there's a shortage of opticians in Canada. And where we see that shortage is mostly in, in BC and Alberta. Calgary, Edmonton, and Vancouver almost always have a variety of job postings on the website at all times. People are starting to realize that eyeglasses indeed are a very important fashion accessory because not that long ago eyeglasses were seen as, as a hindrance and it's really nice to see that right now eyeglasses are such an important fashion accessory that people are turning to eyewear to up their look. Because of being on um, all our devices now there's more problems with eye strain so the industry is open it's there's going to be a high demand for licensed opticians. So I was very excited to join the advisory committee for the licensed optician program that Stenberg is creating. They seem to understand that there's more than just providing students with the basics of being a licensed optician. Here to get an average prescription. 
line up the center of her pupils. You can see here, you can see her pupil. They're focusing on making this candidate come out rich with knowledge and ready to apply for jobs. They want to give them all the tools to succeed in their career. What do you see? FMZCL. Okay. I was very excited to hear that they were focusing so much on customer service, focusing on areas in between the skill set of just adjusting frames of fitting contact lenses. Stenberg isn't looking at just filling their seats and their programs with people who aren't a right match for the program. I'm very confident that they're going to do extensive screenings to make sure that the people taking the program are going to receive the best benefit and the employers hiring a Stenberg graduate are going to receive someone who is going to be an asset to their company. If you're considering taking the opticians course at Stenberg College, um, I would tell you get ready to enjoy a great career. You're going to be responsible for looking after one of life's um, greatest assets and that's vision and eyes. I remember a moment I had when I first became an optician. There was a three-year-old kid. Her prescription was plus 16. And I gave her her glasses and she was amazed at what she could see, right? She was totally amazed. And when I had to take it back so I could adjust it, she didn't want to give it to me because she was just amazed at what, what vision she was missing out. You know, I've loved being an optician and I think you'll love being an optician. So enjoy your career.